it's Monday morning. I don't know what day it is, September 22nd or something like that. And the electricians are all here doing some work. And uh, our plumber, Kevin Nixon, he was here over the weekend. So he could get some work done without a bunch of other people in the way, I think. So we'll see what's going on this morning. <laughs> we got the lights on. Look at the lights. They're at the wiring again. There's the piano. Like a mess. All the wiring done for the manure pump stuff. This gentleman's here, he's going to be putting our milk line in from the robot room to the milk house. Electricians are still here. A lift just arrived for him to use. The guys have been putting wiring conduit up for these fans. You see that gray tube? Yeah, their wire all set up down at that end. Look at this mess. I don't even know what all that stuff does. We were worried this wasn't going to stick out enough to go in the tray. Yeah. And they just added all that other stuff on. Okay, you don't worry. Mm -hmm. Look here. Oh yeah, I think it'll be alright. Yeah, but I haven't put all my weight on it yet. Yeah. Why don't you look? Okay. Nope, you're fine. It's all hooked up to here. But I still have to put it in the drain. But, wow. Buffer tank. <laughs> It's a little more complicated to wash the tank in here now. How do you get in there? Oh. Yeah. I think that's the incoming milk. Oh, really? That little wee pipe? Well. Huh. Yeah. Wow. It's like the size of a garden hose. Gradually getting all the plumbing hooked up and the electrical now to it as well. Oh, what half this stuff is for. I think this tap here. It's for the water that goes to the feed room, so we can put water in our TMR now while it's in the feed room. And this is all done. I think. The plug coming down there, I don't know what that's for. And then this has to be hooked up by the can and all when they come back. It's their stuff for washing the system. And then there's a switch up there for the agitator and the hydro goes around to the cooling system from that but they don't have that all done yet there's a wire that comes to this that's 
in the same circuit as the Magic Horn. Yeah. And our air compressor is all wired up, looks like, and attached. So, not really sure how to work that or anything, but I guess they'll teach us. We got a lot of stuff to learn. This is our left. <laughs> Installing the water line for the barn for the TMR. Okay. boxes are for the fans they made plugs for them because that was easier to do than oh, having easier. well it's cheaper. it's cheaper to do than making a switch for each one because they have to be a special kind of switch because they're in the barn so that's so we can unplug them and each individual fan if we need to hmm. So the stainless guy has been here all day today. He's coming back tomorrow. And he goes, the stainless guy is what he calls himself. Stainless steel. Oh. Yeah. And he hooked up all this stuff so far. And this is our pipeline. Or part of, I don't know. It'll look like that anyways, what will come into the big tank. So we don't need a huge pipeline anymore because it's only one cow melting at a time. Kind of crazy. There was one time we were thinking of going from a two, two and a quarter inch pipe to a three inch because we want to milk with seven milkers or something. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. No. Yeah. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning, back from my parents. It's September 24th. Well, he's just doing this. Oh, pipeline of pieces at a time. <laughs> That's how he does it. Yeah. Looks like they're working on the electrical here in the milk house, the front of the milk house here. And they've been covering this pipe with um, insulation protected, I guess. Didn't know they were going to do that. So that's cool. Okay. Hi. So they're putting this stuff for the fans on these boards. Spencer's making a box here. Huh. Wow. Looks like they got the water hooked up here for this bladder. So they can run their collector robot water in. And then he put a tap on it that we can use separate too. A couple of them. I don't get it. It's <laughs> me so you shut it off and then oh. it'll drain out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is this new too? Or was it on yesterday? No. Yesterday was uh Yeah. Getting everything where you're not like put this wire down these floats for the manure tank. There's one over there too. But they're waiting on a part to to attach it into the hole. They've got the brackets there, but they need something to attach it to. Yeah.
hug you. Hey. Look at the sink. Wow, just fits there perfect. Huh? Neat. Six mil air fitting. Oh no, but what is that that cylinder? Oh, it's your main tank valve. Okay. So when you press this button, yeah. you'll get milk out of here. Oh, okay. So like if you want to take milk out for your house. Okay. Then yeah, that just will turn this open a little bit. Nice. But it's like very finicky, so you have to go like like lightly okay. touch it and it'll okay. pour milk out. So Yeah. Well, unless you have this shut then it won't, but so it has to open that and then you push that button. Yeah, if this is open. This is always open? You can leave it open, yeah, because this will be. Will be your main valve. Will always be shut from our system and then. Okay. Yeah, this is just the manual override if you ever want to just okay. open that valve. And so, what do those other things do then? Those are, well, this is your valve to separate it into your tank or into your drain. Mm hmm. Just okay. So Oh, it's yeah, way more. It comes from your buffer and it goes up. Like that. Oh, okay. Really complicated, eh? Yeah. <laughs> more than what we're used to. <laughs> so. Thanks. So originally, there was a conduit here, and we were gonna bring hydro up there, but they think one of the bolts over here went through it where they were attaching these brackets on. And so they could not get it through. But ends up being a blessing in disguise because we're super excited about having the plug-in here on the back of this panel that's for the charging port for the collector robot. Um, Cause then there's no way the cows can get at it. Otherwise they can maybe reach under the gate that's going against this wall and bug it when it would have been here. So we are happy about that. And originally, we were gonna put the charger for the collector robot here on this wall. We were told that's kind of what we had to do. But when the guys came with this collector robot, we started looking at it and they said, well, we have a stand and we can put that in here. And then it's completely out of the pen. And the robot also will be filling, filling up this, this gateway here while it's getting charged. So it'll be sitting kind of half under the gate and half out of it. So um, we're stoked about that. We are really, really happy about that. We didn't even know that was gonna be an option at all. So that is just neat how things work out sometimes and you need to try. 